Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about our philosophy on maintenance care. Maintenance. What is maintenance? Like uh, home maintenance? <laughs> <laughs> No, Dr. Hatzer, not home maintenance, you know, oh. maintenance care for your spine. What, do, what oh, does I that see. mean? You know, and well, un unfortunately within our profession, there's a lot of varying opinions with regard to what's appropriate in terms of, of seeing the chiropractor. You know, certainly everybody knows that, you know, and, and it's, a, it's a point of contention with whether or not to see a chiropractor for the first time is, you know, once you start going, they want you to go, you know, once a month. I've never mm -hmm. felt comfortable with that. You know, I've been practicing for 22 years. I have not seen that it's necessary to see every individual once a month for a chiropractic adjustment. Now, this may get a lot of pushback from the profession, but you know, I see people three or four times a year. Uh, there are certain parameters that I look for. There's, in fact, there's 14 different things sure. that I look for: uh, <clears throat> leg length, uh, tissue tone uh, in the lumbar spine, whether or not it's symmetrical, in the cervical spine, whether or not it's symmetrical, the joint function, symmetry. Uh, whether or not I can get a full release out of the joints. There's a lot of things that we look for. And if a person is doing well biomechanically and they're not having pain and they look good uh, mechanically, then they're not going to need as much as a person who just doesn't hold mechanically as well. Sure, I agree. And, you know, I mean, all that's, all that's objective information, right? I mean, you as the patient, you want to come in and you want to know exactly what's wrong with you and how you're going to get fixed. But I feel like you would appreciate knowing that uh, we're providing you feedback on a, on a consistent basis. So, you know, I guess that's one way you can, I guess, judge the type of doctor you're seeing it. You know, what type of feedback are they providing you? Are they just telling you that uh, you, need, you just need to keep coming? Or these are the reasons why you need to keep coming? You know, A, B, C, and D, and those are all objective measures, right? Definitely. And you know, if you're a younger person, that recommendation could be twice a year, you know, anywhere, anywhere in their 20s, it generally goes like this, you know, if you're in your 20s, maybe a couple times a year, if you've had spinal pain, if you haven't had spinal pain, um, you know, I, I think that's a pretty good indicator to come in and, and see a provider like us. Uh, and then depending on what we see, uh, then a couple times a year after we get that under control might be appropriate to make sure it's not coming back. When you're, when you're in your 30s, between 30 and 40, you know, three times a year, maybe upwards, you know, closer to 40, maybe we get to that four times a year. And then over, over 40, it's four times a year, maybe even up to six times a year, every other month or so, depending on the history. Because some people have damage in their spine that causes their spines to kind of lock up and to mm -hmm. malfunction a little bit. And that influences not mm -hmm. only their quality of life and pain, but also the disease process that, that's occurring. You know, I believe that when you're in pain and you're living in pain, there's an, there's an acceleration of the disease process, whether it's uh, facet disease mm -hmm. or disc disease, which we'll talk about in, in other videos. But you know, you don't want to accelerate that aging process. Um, a, a point that I wanna make is, you know, aging your spine is very similar to aging your skin. You can take care of your skin when you're young and you might look a lot younger as you age, uh, but if you don't take care of your skin when you're young, you can't begin when you're 50 sure. and then reverse that aging process. You either take care of it early and you, you prolong you know, your, your youth, so to speak, or you can you know, start taking care of it later and, and slow down that aging process. So the spine is very similar. You can't just you know, one day decide, hey, I'm gonna re reverse this damage that's been done to my spine. Mm -hmm. uh, so living <clears throat> in pain, even minute pain for, for a number of years is I think detrimental to spinal health. That's, that's an excellent point, you know, um, just making sure that you're constantly maintaining yourself, maintaining your body. Um, I think that, uh, you know, uh, making sure that uh, you have a, a unique treatment plan for yourself is very important. So, you know, once again, choosing the right doctor and, and making sure that uh, they provide the right type of treatment for you at the right time is crucial. Um, so, yeah. And, and our maintenance uh, program is primarily what you do to yourself. So we're a lot about teaching you what do you do at home to maintain yourself on a daily, weekly basis. You know, and, and different people have to do uh, more or less depending on how much damage they have in their spine. So that's a conversation that we have on an individual basis. But everyone's uh, different, right? I mean, everyone, everyone's different. different. That's that individual so. um, treatment that we try to strive to uh, to deliver to people. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of what uh, our maintenance philosophy is about and, and why, you know, how we think about it and why we come up with, uh, with, with this particular opinion. And uh, with that, take care. Bye-bye.